For the first time in history, the government has an opportunity to now share what they're doing across agencies. Uh, the, the kind of previous procurement model across the government has been one where uh, large system integrators or large vendors have had an incentive to lock the government in to a solution rather than give the government the ability to share uh, code and practices across agencies. So I think open source has opened up this ability, for example, for the White House to build a website on Drupal, which is the platform that we support, and then release back to the community all of the code that they, uh, that they, that they built that's specific to their site that may be relevant for other government websites. Uh, and they've done that, and they've done that more than once. And energy.gov did that around their web initiative, and FCC.gov did that around their initiative, pr leveraging previous efforts by others and also pushing the community forward by producing new code uh, that gets produced for uh, others to use. We are a commercial open source company, so we uh, provide um, we provide support and services around a platform called Drupal. Drupal is used to build web applications, uh, platforms, uh, applications as I mentioned, such as energy.gov, whitehouse.gov, fcc.gov, and so on. So uh, we are providing support for organizations that are utilizing open source, ensuring that they're successful uh, utilizing open source. And as a company, we also contribute all of what we do back to the community. So if we get engaged with a customer and we find, for example, a significant bug or a significant uh, enhancement to the Drupal web content management system, we're able to contribute that back to the community, therefore pushing the community forward. Um, and we do that on a daily basis at, uh, at our company, Acquia. We would recommend that organizations, number one, uh, still do their research. There are technology areas where there are, uh, there are niche proprietary solutions that do a better job than open source. There are um, areas where there are multiple competitive open source solutions. So you still have to make sure that the solution that you're selecting, whether it's open source or not, meets the business need um, of the agency. The second thing is ensure that you select the right partners. So there are partners that have more experience working with open source technologies than others. Uh, and the third is still continue to follow uh, traditional uh, IT implementation and, and software processes that you'd follow with any platform. We feel that organizations that think open source is free, so therefore the implementation, the cost of the project should be next to nothing, uh, are often misled. Open source is more about freedom of innovation, so you can move a lot faster, you can implement capabilities a lot faster, but that doesn't mean that the implementation is free as well. There's still implementation costs and there's still traditional processes around project management and program management and architecture that still um, follow on the tails of an open source project just like they would with any other project, and I think that that's often a misconception by organizations that are investing in open source platforms.